This is a partial teardown of a Cisco 2911 router. I've already removed a lot of the user repairable parts like the fan tray, power supply, and expansion cards. Um, I have also removed the internal screws just for the sake of time. Plus, I don't know about some people, but I kind of find it boring watching people unscrew stuff. I just want to see the see what's inside. But to take the top cover off, it's just three screws, and the back side lifts up and pulls away at an angle. Inside, your config may vary. This one was not configured with any additional RAM. I believe this card is optional. I believe it's a VPN card. And that's just held down with four screws. And then it's a press fit. Just a simple board. This is a, I'm not sure what it does. I think it's like an upgrade module for the card. Then the motherboard itself has screws basically all over the place. To remove the motherboard, you have to take out all the screws on the motherboard. And then the sides, there's two more screws. From there, it's a matter of kind of lifting it up and wiggling it. This is a pull point as far as I can tell, because that screw's not really attached to anything. Oh, also there are light pipes I forgot about that, that are in the way. Those front output light pipes. And to remove the motherboard, it's just a simple matter of wiggling around enough for the uh, connector on the bottom side to come out. I do believe that this is onboard ECC memory. There's only five chips, which is odd because I thought ECC had to be in pairs or sets of nine, but that might be different for newer memory standards. Overall, it's uh, quite the board. A lot of stuff going on on it. Stuff that's over my head. Bottom side is just passives, bypass caps and whatnot. Nothing much to see there. Then you got the um, board to power supply interconnect point. A couple more screws that come out. Then just slide sideways. That covers slide sideways and comes up. Two more screws for this interconnect. And then, apparently I did something wrong here. <laughs> Should, there we go, it's just stuck. It just kind of slides up and out. This is where, I forget what the front, front port does actually, sorry. But this is where the back power supply goes in. I think this is for an expansion module of some sort. And from there, it's basically nothing else. The only thing that's in here beyond the motherboard is this riser. Um, everything else is user replaceable. So, yeah, thanks for watching.